Hi, for All Nation, Old and New Testament Ministry, welcome you. Today, I want to talk about, um, I'm going to show you a little clip too, and then I want to go tell you that, you know, go on YouTube and see what I'm talking about today, what I really want to talk about. And uh, that is, there's a heading over here, it says, Science Refute God. That was debate, that was debate done over there in uh, Intelligence uh, Square, of science in uh, New York. So that debate was done between Lawrence Krauss, Michael Shermer, Dinesh D'Souza, and Ian Hitchinson. And I watched this debate very closely. And of course, the motion was that, you know, science refute God. I just want to make sure very clear that, you know, that is totally wrong. Science can never, ever refute God. There is no way, no way ever, never, ever, in any lifetime or any in the century that science say that can refute God. Because first of all, God doesn't have to prove any human or to anybody that what he did or what he's going to do. Now science has to prove, human has to prove, to prove something that they are capable to something. Just like for example in science, like we know about that Richard Dawkins, the same Lawrence Krauss, of course, uh, all these evolutionist, all this Big Bang theory, all this Charles Darwin, all this evolutionist who believe that and think this is how the world existed. But I want to say very clear and send a very clear message to all the scientists, the one who believe that this is a Big Bang theory, Big Bang, big evolution took place. This is just they are proving, they are proving their case. 13.7 billion come on then you are really giving the wrong time frame this is the wrong time frame because if you really want to let's say believe for a second hypothetically speaking if this is how molecular level or from the molecule from the proton from the neutron all this the concept the science has which i don't have time to sh share all this but i just want to make my case quick that then where in the world, if that little molecule or the molecular level we are talking about, if that has to come in a huge or big bang thing has to take place, and then we see all these big oceans, mountains, and everything in the space and in the planet from that little thing, that means that little thing somewhere is taking from the small to become big, so now that small part, how long is that small part is? How old is that small part is? So you have to at least tell the world, like last time I said that, you know, if that, if the scientists know when the world got existed, then they should know when the world has to be destroyed too. So anyway, I just want to talk about that, that, you know, what I really want to share about that in debate, there's two things I really want to share that what they're talking about. They're saying that, you know, the good, and the bad part is coming from science. So all the morality is coming from science, good and bad and all this. I have, I just want to say, I have a message for them. Anything good or bad we're talking about, it's in the word of God. And here Jesus talk about, if science talking about the good and bad, then there should be a truth too. And Jesus said, he's the only one that challenged. He said, I am the truth and I am the life. So therefore, science you are failed, Richard Dawkins, you fail, Lawrence Krauss, you are failed. And if this debate, if you want to see, see it, and what I really want to talk about that, you know, this is one of the point I'm making that science saying that, you know, good moral stuff all come from the science. Sorry, this is what Jesus said in the Bible. Jesus said, I even will go for my lost sheep. So therefore, how many times you see all these scientists will say that we will go for our lost or lost one human we will go and find them and help them or we are the truth when there's no truth how are they going to talk about they're just proving their case so therefore sorry in god way there is no way god have to prove his case he has to do what he has to do and that's very clear in the bible so therefore never ever science can refute god bible can refute science million times zillion times and as long been this world exists as science believe that many more double time bible will refute the science so therefore i want to play a quick clip that i want to say you know what michael Shermer, 
he's answered that little boy Michael Sherman is actually the ex Christian he was a born again Christian and then he said he became a born again atheist then he go in people's house and he's tell that you know he was wrong when he was Christian so now he's right I'm just want to tell him that man you are still wrong and you remain wrong as long as you are atheist and those scientists you believe in telling people let me play that clip so you can see what I'm talking about the little boy is questioning to Michael Shermer here we go let me play this our youngest ever questioner there is no pressure on you whatsoever <laughs> Uh, my name is David, and um, I'm a student at Collegiate School, and I would like to know from uh, the side uh, for the motion whether um, what your stance would be or what you would say to somebody that has had a spiritual experience, uh, not really. Uh, Let's sorry. let Michael Shermer take that question. Yeah, yeah so uh, we get this a lot. You know, how do you explain this or that? I think people's experiences are real, absolutely. I think most people don't just make up stories, although some do. Most people, when they experience, they describe some miraculous, fantastic spiritual experience that they've had, they really mean it. Now, so the question is, what does it represent? Something out there in the world or something in, inside the brain? Well, we now know enough about neuroscience to know that the brain does generate a lot of these kind of spiritual experiences, near-death experiences, out-of-body experiences, sense presences, hallucinations, delusions. Uh, there's whole books about this, and um, and so the experiences are real. What we want to know as scientists is, well, what do they actually represent? I mean, we know we can replicate these in the lab by doing certain things and causing people's brains to have these experiences. So most likely, the what's more likely question, that it's out there or that it's in here, the overwhelming evidence is that they're in here. Good question, and I want okay. to take it to the other side. Who, who, the... Okay, so we heard that what Michael Shermer said. He said we can replicate that stuff, we can put some stuff, some drugs in the brain so we can replicate that stuff and cause that the spiritual experience in the brain. So the little boy, he asked a very good question. So you see how Michael Sherman answered. He totally, that's a totally wrong. There is no such neuro, I mean the spiritual experience in the brain. So if this is just in the brain, that can be in the whole body. So therefore he said, yeah, hallucinations and all this, these are certain things. We know that as a neuroscientist, we know what's in there in the brain and what caused dementia and all this. We know that as a neurotransmitter and what sort of disease in the brain caused those issues. So therefore, answering that to little boy, that the spiritual experience, we can do that in the laboratory, that we can enter certain drugs and no. That's just like... You somebody you're giving somebody weed and smoke or somebody you're giving like a heroin or something or you know some something myth or something and they feel a little high and all this. That's what actually he's talking about. There is no such experience. He need to study of the brain. So then he know that you know how the anatomy of the brain is talking about and not even that. He need to do the embryology of the brain. And when he see the embryology of the brain, when he study about that, then he will know what is how brain really function so i don't want to talk about really a lot about the brain i just want to show you the views that what the little boy asked him in this debate and how this scientist atheist answer and totally lie and made this that the spiritual stuff we can inject stuff in the brain and they can feel that so sorry mr atheist he's a he's the founder of skeptic magazine when he became the um, uh, atheist and all this so people, just please, even for the Christians, I would say also study, not just something, jump into the Bible and start believing something. No, just see the logic and all this. And therefore, Christ even make his case. Bible make his case very clear. So even Christians need to know that, not just something, jump into it. So therefore, this debate, this motion that science refute God, sorry about that. This is not, should be not at all. It should be Bible refute science so i would urge you people please go see this debate four people sitting there four people sitting there obviously you know good have knowledge and all this four people sitting there and two is like against the motion and two is for the motion so therefore making their case at the end they won and making clap and all this and you presented what you presented that there is no god you presented okay this is all big bang this you presented all this happened just like with the true molecular level the molecule the neutron and proton all this happened there come on please give me a break 
we have a very smart people in the world and God made them smart and use your brain. And therefore, that's why Bible challenged the science. One man in the history, always, and that's Jesus Christ, always, always have and always will challenge the science as long as science has existed. So therefore, I will come back again. There's a lot I have to come bring. There's a lot, some of the stuff in there, all debates. There is a lot of stuff I caught, I got it there, that I'm going to nail them down to show them where they are wrong, where science is wrong, where Richard Dawkins is wrong, Sam Harris is wrong, where is that Lawrence Krauss is wrong. All these atheist debaters, I'm going to prove them. And not just me, Bible prove them. And I'm, I'm going to nail them down and show them that what they are, how they are really playing with people's mind and all this, they are saying it just for the sake of, so they can make their case. So sorry, Bible doesn't have to make their case. Bible already once for all made their case. So I'll see you again. Have a good one. God bless you all.